good morning, or good afternoon, wherever you may be watching. My name is Sebastian Monroy, this year's team captain, team BASA, the defending 2020-2021 winners in the FAA Airport Design Challenge in the non-primary division. And this is our submission for this year's competition. We're glad to be back. This year, we decided to build an airport closer to home, the Palm Beach International Airport, located in West Palm Beach, Florida. Week 1. Specifications of the airport. Palm Beach consists of two intersecting runways and one parallel GA runway. We included all existing FBOs, hangars, parking lots, and the air traffic control tower. Our scaling was a non-accurate 1 to 4 ratio all around the airport. It did manage to affect us a bit while we were building, but we were able to improvise. Week 2. Fencing and markings. We built a normal fence all around the airport and buildings on airport property. Week 3, Airport Lighting. This year, we kept the daylight sensing runway lights and street lights all around the airport. We also decided to keep our taxiway lights remained fixed. With the approach lights on both parallel runways, we also decided to keep those fixed as well. Week 4, Structures. We included all structures on airport property. Palm Beach has a commercial terminal building, three concourses, their own fire station, short-term parking, long-term parking, and 15 FBOs such as Atlantis Aviation, the Signature FSO, Trauma Hawk, Signature Development, FedEx, and more. Week 5, Innovations and Growth. Those familiar with PBI might be a bit confused on why our build looks a bit different. That's because we followed the 2007 master plan for our innovations to the airport. In this, the employee parking lot was replaced with a new concourse for the terminal, Concourse D. We took it and turned it into the international terminal for the airport. Runway 10 right was lengthened and enlarged to be parallel to 10 left. This left runway 14 to be shortened and turned into the GA runway. This allows for more traffic into the airport, which is desperately needed. Additional hangars were also added at FedEx and Signature Development. If I were to categorize our airport with the theme of STEM, science would be the topographic maps used for terrain, technology would be how we used redstone daylight sensors for our lighting around the airport, engineering would be civil engineering in terms of building the new structures, and lastly, math would be the choice of our 1 to 4 scaling of the airport. Final thoughts. Overall, I'm very pleased with how our airport turned out. This year, we challenged ourselves with building a bigger airport and implementing our innovations. I'd like to give a special shout out to my professor, Mr. Hertzberg, for actually having the master plan. It's hung on our wall in our classroom in our school. Since he was an airport op at PBI, I was able to go ask him questions about the airport whenever I needed to know about a certain area, which was quite a bit of questions I asked. I'd also like to thank Dr. Mitchell for rooting us and giving us a winner mentality throughout all of this. Lastly, I'd like to thank my teammates. Even amongst the pandemic, we were able to keep the train going and push our fantastic bill for the competition with meeting during lunch, late night calls, and just having an overall very good experience with our build. We hope you like our airport and we're pushing for a second win in a row. Thank you for watching our video and have a good day.